Listen, there is a viral niche on TikTok that no one knows yet. I only found just one TikTok page that is doing that niche. On YouTube, there is not a single video about this niche. As usual, this is the first video on YouTube that you will hear about this niche. So if you are one of the first people who watched this video as soon as I uploaded it, you guys are very lucky because you can start this with me before the competition even starts. So if you are someone who has been watching my video since day one, you already know I reveal new and untouched niches every week. I can guarantee that this niche is gonna be the next big thing. So it's up to you to decide whether you start this right now and go viral or ignore this opportunity like a lazy person. Because in the next few minutes, I will reveal this niche and show you everything. When I say everything, I mean every thing about finding video ideas to creating your first video. You don't have to be stressed or worried about anything because if you watch this video till the end, you will have everything to start this niche as soon as possible. Kaz, enough with the nonsense. Just tell us what this niche is. Okay, okay, okay. Just hold on, bro. What is the hurry? The niche I'm about to reveal today is called Rebus Puzzles, or Word Game Niche. Some of you may know about this puzzle, but some of you have no damn idea about what this is, so let me explain it. A Rebus is a picture representation of a name, work, or phrase. It's tricky and has a deep meaning. So. Your job is to find that hidden meaning. I think it would be good if I show you an example. Rebus puzzle. If you can solve these puzzles, you might be a genius. You will have five seconds to guess it. So let's start. The answer is foreign language. The answer is forehead. The answer is falling in love. The answer is advice. Okay, okay, so I understand about this niche, but how are we going to find these puzzle ideas? That's what I'm gonna teach you guys in the next few minutes. Just be patient, dude. Oh, in the next few minutes, I will show you guys how to find these ideas and how to create a video, just like the previous example. You just need to follow these steps. The first thing we need to do is find suitable Rebus puzzle ideas. You can use Google for that. If you search on Google, you will be able to find 100s of puzzles like this. You can also use ChatGPT for that. Just ask ChatGPT to give Rubes puzzle ideas and it will generate new puzzles with answers. As you saw in the example, I'm going to include four puzzles in one video. So I have selected these four puzzles for this example. First, let me show you how to create these. Log into your Canva account first. You don't need to have the paid version. You can use the free version for this process. Go to create designs and select a custom size. I will add 1500 width and 1000 height for this. Then you will come to this page. Let's add a square shape from the elements to this surface area and change its size to match this. And let's change the color to white as well. Now I'm going to create the first puzzle. So let's add a text layer and add this word. Now. We can decorate this word by adding new fonts and adding cool text effects. So it's up to you. You can add any eye-catching fonts and text effects for this. After that, you can just download this image. Just like this, I'm going to create the next puzzle. For some puzzles, you may need to add some images like clocks and signs. You can get any of these from Canva. Just search it on the search bar and you will find it. I will add these puzzle images to a new folder. Now we need to create a template. Let's create a new project for that. This time, select the size of YouTube Shorts. Let's add a square shape from the elements to this surface area and change its size to match this. And let's add some cool color for this background. I think this one would be good. Now, add another small square shape to here. This is where the puzzle is going to appear. And let's change its color as well. Make sure to add a matching color to the background. Now, I will add some start elements to the background. So go to elements and search for stars and add suitable graphics to this background to increase the quality of the content. Not only starts, you can add any graphics that you prefer. Then you can download this template. Now we need to create the starting point of the video. For that, I will delete these layers and add a text like this. You can add a good looking font and text effects like these. I will also add some motion graphics to this background like these shining stars and some puzzle graphics like this. You can find any motion graphics by searching those using this element's search bar. I think this looks good. 
Now I think it might be good if we add a voiceover for this with a good hook. So, let's go to Eleven Labs to make some voiceovers. Eleven Labs is one of the best and most realistic text-speech AI voice generators. There are a lot of AI voices in Eleven Labs. You can even clone your voice with this. So, you don't have to worry about buying expensive equipment for voice recording. And most importantly, you can monetize your videos using this voices. You can sign up for free. It will give free 10,000 characters. Now, let's check several AI voices and select a suitable one for this video. If you click this add voice button and click voice library, you can get access to more voices. By selecting suitable keywords from this top menu, you can get voices related to each category. So I will select social media. I think it would be better if we use a female voice. So I will select this voice. Let's check it. The only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on. It is never of any use to oneself. Yeah, this is good for this project. Now I will add this hook. If you can solve these puzzles, you might be a genius. You have five seconds to answer. And let's generate the voiceover for this. After that, you need to generate voiceovers for the answers as well. So make all of these voiceovers. Let's go back to Canva. Go to uploads and upload the first voiceover, then add it to the timeline like this. Now that the first part of this video is completed, you can download this as an MP4 file. Before going into the next part of the video, we need to download some sound effects such as whoosh and clock ticking sounds. We can use pixabay.com for that. From this website, you can download any sound effects without any copyright issues. So download these two sound effects from this website. Now let's go back to Canva again. First, delete all these layers and go to upload. Then upload all the images and materials we created to this. First, you need to add the background template we created here and adjust its size to match the surface area. Then, add the first puzzle to this box like this. Then, let's add a text layer. I will rename it to What is this? And we can change its font and colors as well. Then, go to Elements and search for the stopwatch. From here, you can select a suitable animation and add it to the middle part of the video just like this. Now, we need to add another text layer to represent the answer. You can duplicate this text layer and rename it to the answer. It's better if you can use another color for the answer. And then duplicate this text layer again and add it on top of the stopwatch animation and rename it to the answer. Now we need to edit the timing of these layers. Click on this stopwatch animation and right click, then select the show timing option. Now you will see this purple color bar on the timeline. By adjusting this purple color bar, you can edit the timing of this layer. So, the stopwatch should appear after the first second, and it should be there for five seconds. Then, the answer layer should appear. So, after the first six seconds, answers should appear. Edit the timing of these layers like this. It's not that complicated. Then, let's add some sliding animation to these layers. I will select all the layers at once by pressing the Shift key. Then, go to Animate and add any sliding animation from these. All of these animations are really good. I think this one would be good. Finally, we need to add sound effects. So drag the whoosh sound effects to the timeline and place it where the puzzle appears. Then add the clock ticking sound effect to the next five seconds. After that, add the voiceover related to this answer to the timeline just like this. Then you can download this clip. You can do the same thing for all other puzzles and download all the four videos. Finally, we need to put together all the clips and make the final output. Go to Canva again and delete all these layers. Go to Uploads and upload all the five video clips we created. Then all you need to do is add the clips in the correct order like this. Then, you can download the final output. I hope you guys understand this tutorial. So, as I mentioned at the start of this video, those who start this niche first will go viral soon. I will see you in the next video.